Welcome to this episode of Video Drum by DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to be talking a little bit about some modifications I'm making to the solo. So this is actually going to be a couple different stage modifications, if you will, because one of the things that uh, I've sort of figured out how to do is how to get a third-party gimbal on here. Now, that's going to be a future video, I think. I've ordered all the parts, and actually, I think I'm going to buy another one of these just to do that mod on, because I want to have... A uh, couple different setups, um, because one of the cool things about this platform is this thing can lift about 700 grams. That's actually pretty darn good. Uh, you know, so I can mount some all kinds of different cameras on here and fly those different cameras, and that's really one of the big things I want to do. And that's one of the reasons I bought this platform, amongst other things, which I'll talk about in, in a separate episode. However, for this episode, I wanted to share a little bit of what I've done. So, what I've done here... When I turn it on its side, you can you can see here. So I've removed this uh, inter uh, gimbal mount or you know vibration mount from inside and located it outside. One of the things I noticed um, in a number of drone worships flights, he uh, he's getting a lot of jelloing. And when I really looked at this, number one, as this cable came out the center with this inside, it pressed on this, so definitely the vibration was transferred out. And, and this cable is just a bad design idea if you want to get still video, even with a gimbal. Um, this is something I've also got some ideas on how to overcome, again, future episode. But for right now, what I've done is I've moved this to the outside, and I've put new uh, rubber balls on here. Now, you notice on each side here, I've got a, a nylon uh, bolt with a nut on the inside. You know, what happens is this keeps this from, you know, it's kind of a security from falling off. It's not tight. Uh, it just sits in there, and I've crimped off the bolt on the top side so the nut can't come off. So the biggest thing is if the rubber, rubber balls pop out, uh, this will still support this in flight so it's not going to fall off. Uh, so the other piece is, now I had made these actually for a pro similar project I did with the up air quite some time ago. So I'm simply repurposing these. I made these on my CNC. I'm actually going to make another version on my laser in a future episode. So if you uh, don't follow me, please follow me over on DIY.3DTech.com where I make all kinds of crazy things with 3D printers, lasers, and CNCs if you're interested in that kind of stuff. Uh, but anyways, uh, I'm going to make a little bit different one, but I'm going to start out with this for experimentation purposes because the other thing I'm doing is, I, as you guys recall, I want to fly my 360 degree camera, but I want to be able to get out far enough where I, I still need some FPV vision. So I've got a camera, you know, just a cheap knockoff uh, GoPro camera type up here. And I've got this 3D printed mount. I'll have the link to that below because one of the things I want to talk about this is here's another one. This is fantastic. Even if you have the standard, um, you're not making any mods to your solo, this is worth it because it allows you to flip the camera upside down or right side up. So this is really cool. So you have access to both sides and you get access to both buttons here. So this is really a great design. So this is out on Thingiverse. I'll have a link for it down below. Uh, I've used this uh, quite a bit in the past with my SEMAs and some of my other models. Um, I do suggest printing this out of ABS or Pad G because it does need to be flexible to get the camera in there. And once it gets in there, it's in there. So you want to, you know, probably print out a couple of these and maybe have a dedicated camera because it's a pain to get it in and out. But it does work great for drones. So, anyways, I've got one of those out here now. One of the things, as you see, I've got this camera pushed out front, so I am well out front, and then. I've also got this angle down, so if you look, I should clear. I should not get my props in the picture, and uh, you know I can do recording. Uh, it's very easy for me to hit the button. I don't like the turn on the cable here, uh, but it is what it is. So uh, again, I've got some ideas to fix this, and I'm looking at them in a future for a future episode. Uh, and if it does work, obviously I show it to you guys um, and give you a parts list. But so far, this looks pretty good. Oh, and I've got the 360 camera back here. Now, what I'm using this for is to kind of balance the weight a little bit. This camera is quite a bit heavier than this camera. And so that's why I've cantilevered it out. And I can kind of adjust it back and forth. Uh, however, one of the pieces is I pull this back in. This, uh, this corner here becomes a little bit more articulated. And, and I kind of want to kind of keep it a, as little as possible. It would be nice if it would be bent around back that way rather than up that way. But again, it's kind of designed for the camera being upside down. So, anyways. 
so I've got this in here. I am going to change these out. I'm going to get nylon bolts for these rather than the metal bolts to cut down on some weight. Um, you just don't need to fly that much weight, but I'm still well within that 700 grams. So uh, this is actually, I'm looking forward to flying this. Um, you know, we'll do some test flights and everything. Now, this camera, when it is in HDMI mode, uh, does seem to stay on. Uh, when you press record and does actually record and you can see the recording in the the fact it is recording in the FPV uh, Image that comes down. So I'm kind of interested to see how this works So I should be able to get forward video here now again since this sees 360 degrees around it uh, I can just have it point straight down and basically I'm going to get everything in a huge cone um, so it's going to see everything beneath it, and I think that's going to be kind of cool. And that's one of the things that I, I, I really want to experiment with, because especially since this is really not a true 360-degree camera, because it doesn't see the 360 degrees above it, and only sees 360 degrees around it, um, I think this could be very interesting for, uh, for mapping and things like that, because it's flying around, it's, it's taking in a huge image, um, so again, I'm pretty excited about this, especially flying over water and everything. So I can't wait to get it up in the air. A little bit windy and rainy out here. Um, so it might be a little bit before I get her up. But I will get her up and show you guys how this all is uh, working. So hopefully you find this interesting. Uh, give it a big thumbs up if you did. If you've got any questions or suggestions, hit me up in the comments below. Let me know what you're thinking about for lunch. I did a uh, turkey breast sandwich today. A little mayo, some nice pepper jack. It was great. See you guys in the next video. Cheers.